All right, guys, in today's video, we are going to cover five psychological triggers or Jedi mind tricks to hopefully entice people to buy your t-shirts. Let's go. What's up, guys? Gary Ejene, t-shirthelpdesk.com, the place where we cover all things t-shirt related. So make sure you go down and you subscribe and click that notification bell so you will be notified of all of the fantastic information that we have on the t-shirt industry. All right, guys, this game is all about t-shirt sales. This is the t-shirt business, keyword business, all right? So there's certain things that are given. You really need to have a cool design. You really need to have uh, your stuff on a website or somewhere where people can see it. You really need to let people know about it, meaning advertising, okay? And you really need to have a core target audience, meaning your t-shirt should have something on it that appeals to a group of people. We're not talking about that today. We are going to get into, once people see it, the little things that you can do to get them to turn the corner, to get them to click that buy now button, to get them to purchase your t-shirts. So let's start. Okay, we're gonna start with the easiest, simplest thing. That is a discount code, all right? Look guys, you want people to buy and people are always looking to, as they say, save a buck or two. So you want to do something to get and entice those people to buy. One of the things that you can do is you can have a discount wheel. It's a plugin that you can get and they could go in and click the button, spin the wheel, and they'll get some form of discount. Another thing that you can do is you can, uh, when you have your advertising and you have your social media, you can offer discount codes there. But you can have it for anything. You could have it for President's Day. You could have it for um, National Pizza Day. You could have it for Hanukkah. You could have it for, um, I don't know, Michael Jackson's birthday. Whatever you want, you can have some type of sale and offer a discount code. Another thing that you can do, which is really great, is if you actually package your stuff yourself, you can put a card with a discount code in it. So when people buy the stuff, they look in, not only do they see their beautiful t-shirt that they bought from you, but they also see a discount code. Now, this is the deal. People who have bought from you already are 10 times more likely to buy from you again. There is a saying that 80% of your business is going to come from 20% of your audience. So it could be this little bit of people that buy from you are responsible for repeat sales. A happy, satisfied customer will buy time and time and time again. So make sure you give them something good. Another thing that you want to do is you don't want to offer too much stuff. You don't want to have too many styles. You don't want to have people going and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And also with any given style, you don't want to have too many options, especially color options. All right. It is just really confusing. And the reason why is something called paralysis analysis. And in industry, we call it Chinese menu takeout syndrome. Now, please, please, I mean no disrespect to anyone who's Asian or Chinese. It is just something that has been said. In many cases, in a lot of Asian Chinese restaurants, there's so much delicious food on the menu that you don't know what to choose. It's like, oh my God, that looks good, that looks good. That looks good. And sometimes when people are given too many choices, they choose nothing. So don't confuse your potential customer. Stop. Fun fact. Did you guys know that black t-shirts sell more than all other t-shirt colors combined? All right. Dark colors sell more. 
So as opposed to doing all these different colors, all right, just choose a black and maybe a couple more colors, no more than five, and that's kind of pushing it. And your sales will hopefully rise, okay? So dark colors, blacks, All right, guys, this is another one. And this one is kind of sneaky, but it's been going on for years, okay? Include your shipping costs in the price of your t-shirts, all right? That means that if you have a t-shirt, and let's just say it is um, $19.99, you can make profit for $19.99. You can sell it for $24.99, all right? And include the shipping in that price. This price that you would charge for shipping, which would be $3, $4, $5, just include that in the price. If you charge them for $24, charge $29, all right? I know what you'd be saying, yeah, but people might not wanna pay that much. Guys, trust me. I would rather spend more money on something and get to that damn checkout and see free shipping than buy something for cheap and then click that button and all of a sudden it's a higher number. Psychologically, I don't know what it is, all right? When people see that higher number, it is a deterrent, all right? People will go in and they will get a whole bunch of stuff. They could be shopping for Christmas. They get a whole bunch of stuff. They know that it's like a thousand dollars and then they click the, you know, check out now and it says something like $1,005 and they're like, oh, Hell no, hell no. You understand what I'm saying? So guys, something that you can do is include the price of your shipping in your t-shirt price. The way that they would do this back in the day, what they would have something where they would say, buy one, get one free, or two for the price of one. Guys, no, you're not buying anything free, all right? People don't give anything free okay what they're doing is this something that's really cheap and they can make profit off of it by selling two for one price okay nothing is free all right it's just a psychological trigger because they say oh, free because that word drives people crazy free i'm gonna buy that you know sometimes people will buy stuff that they don't even want or like because they'll get it free but it's not really free okay they're paying a price and they're getting two of them they're still giving you money. So include and hide that shipping in something else. All right? Sneaky, ain't it? Another thing is on your website, and this is for you guys who are selling stuff first party, meaning you own your own website, you have a Shopify site or something like that. Make sure that you use a clean theme, all right? clean thing with a white or a light background. There have been studies shown that websites with dark background in comparisons with websites with light or white backgrounds, they don't do as well. So the light backgrounds do much better. Also, a lot of clutter, a lot of different stuff anywhere. You want your stuff clean. If you ever notice, if you go to Shopify and you wanna click and get one of their themes, they almost always have a very clean white background because these sites, they've studied this stuff and it's better, all right? And also there is a t-shirt help desk theme that's coming out. Um, we're bringing it back and it has a clean white background. So check that out. Now this one, guys, this is a big one, all right? When you are doing your website, no matter what it is, make sure that you put some form of a person on your website wearing your garments, okay? It could be in the hero image, which is the big image above the fold on your website. And it also can, and in many cases, you know, I implore you guys to put models, people wearing your t-shirts okay because psychologically 
when people see a person, all right, this person is cool, this person is uh, good looking, this person looks like they have their life together, when they see that person wearing the stuff, psychologically they say, well, if that person is wearing that, I wear it, I'm going to look like that person, okay? My life may be in shambles, but once I put this t-shirt on, everything is gonna be great. Okay, now we all know that that might not necessarily be the case, but guys, these are Jedi mind tricks. A great place where you can go and get this. You don't have to hire a photographer. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to get your own models. It's placeit.net. They have fantastic models of all different races, all different genders ages, sexual proclivity, you name it. So make sure you go to place it and you pick and choose what type of model you want. All right, you can just upload your artwork and you can download it and make it happen. And the price is just, I mean, you can't beat it. It is, as my mama would say, a little of nothing. So check out placeit.net and make it happen. Cap. And wait, when you do stuff like this, you take your t-shirt line to a how another level. Make it happen. All right, guys, so what do you think? Are you using any of these? Do you want to use them? Do you think I'm talking all type of craziness? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to check y'all later. I'm finna put some butt on these shoes and slide on out the door. Do something good for somebody. If you don't have anyone to do something good for, do something good for yourself. Cheers to your t-shirts. God bless. And I am out. I'm dark. You hear this? You hear it? This is what I have to deal with. This is what I have to deal with when I make a video. Shirt man, shirt man, yeah, that's me. Damn, will it ever end?